All right, this is gonna be kind of a weird video. It isn't gonna be a normal review because there's no way I could give this blaster a normal review. I haven't even taken it out of the shipping box yet because for those of you that have been following my channel for a long time, you'd know a couple of things. One, I really like pistols. Two, I really like shotguns and shotgun pistols, those are just a rarity in and of itself. However, there's another blaster that I've wanted for a while that is a combination of those two things, and that is a breech-loaded pistol. And lo and behold, Nerf has finally made one. And it's something I've been looking forward to for years, and we're finally getting it. Something I never thought I'd get my hands on, and I wanted to capture every moment of it. Because inside of this, are two Nerf and Strike Elite Shell Strike DS6s. And it's every bit as awesome as I could have possibly imagined. This is a this is gonna be a hard one for me. I'm biased completely in favor of this blaster for everything that happened in 2019 with Nerf. We're starting 2020 off strong. Is this going to be the best blaster ever and set my world on fire? I highly doubt it. But is it gonna be something that I'm gonna do every single thing possible to make good? You bet it. We just have to take a look at the box. I mean, it is a breech loading freaking shotgun pistol. It uses the Trilogy shells, which I'm not familiar with. I have not ever used a N-Strike Elite Trilogy. In fact, I planned on getting one to compare to this blaster, and you should let me know down in the comment section if that's worth doing, because I think it might be worth picking one up. And I'm gonna have to get some of these shell upgrade packs for this, because it has a rail on the bottom! Not on the top, though, because it is a break-action freaking shotgun pistol that uses shells! It's seriously, it's a break action. It's not even like a cut down Busby double shot. This is a legit thing. We got this before we got the double barrel break action shotgun. I can't even imagine that. And Hasbro, if that's coming up, I if you show that off at Toy Fair finally, I will be ecstatic. Ah, oh, man. Fires three darts at once, break open loading, storage for two shells, and it does come with two and strike Elite Trilogy shells and six Elite darts. And it says, of course, the top right corner, use only official nerf darts, and just out of spite, I'm not going to because your darts are absolute garbo. But this blaster sure as heck isn't. There's no way I'm going to hate this. Do I expect the ranges to blow me away? No. I, do I expect this to be... Something that many of you will even understand on a physical level, like why I would love this so much. No, I, I'm just going to enjoy every second of this unboxing. Oh, wait, hold on. There's one more. Uh, I know we're three minutes in. I haven't even taken the blaster out of the box yet. Wait, nope. There's one more. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna wait as long as possible. In fact, I'm going to pull it out like this. It looks absolutely awesome. It's one of the better designed blasters I have ever seen. Grip looks a little small, a little thin, but still might be good. I have small hands, and every once in a while, those small hands work out for me. Darts, extra shell. Have I mentioned that this is a $15 blaster? $15 is actually a steal for a blaster like this, in my opinion. They could have easily charged a lot more, and I'm really impressed with... Hasbro trying to offer things at that price point. That $10, $15 price point seems to be elusive. <sighs> oh my god, it's so juicy! Yo. Oh my god, that's so comfy. I mean, it could be comfier, because this is just a block. It's very similar to the new, like, like the Delta Trooper grip that we've been getting, and it could be fatter on the sides, but... Oh, man. So, <laughs> this right here is what opens up the breach. And it's automatic to a degree, but the shell ejection is not automatic. That, I think, is a strike against it. Hopefully there's an easy way to put, like, a spring in here that can pop out that shell when you open it. But... Oh, that works. That works perfect. Load in another one. Put that back. Now, none of that primes the blaster. There's a prime on it, very similar to the Star Wars 
pistols we got a couple of years back or the, there was like that weird double barreled pistol. It's very similar to those, but that action is amazing. Man, the trilogy shells are huge. They are flipping massive. Doesn't look like they have an air restrictor or anything in them, although it does look like they have like some kind of air release hole. These are probably gonna require some modification to make not suck. I'm okay with that. And of course, 3D printing all sorts of specialty shells. This could very easily fit Rival. Can't it? Oh yeah, it almost looks like they tried to make it. Sh no, that's, that's awesome. So this'll, this'll be a shotgun in any sense of the imagination. Now, the thing that bothers me, I guess the plunger tube is probably about that long, maybe a little bit less. So not the longest, the draw is less than two inches. It was a very stiff draw and you can't fire it without closing the breech. And yes, that is a breech. That could probably be improved. The plunger tube is massive though. It very much is similar to the thing like the uh, sludge fire plunger tube. And sludge fires are capable of a lot of power. So I'm guessing with some shell modification and whatnot, we can make this thing pretty good. And if push comes to shove, we just put in a longer plunger tube in here or just swap out sludge fire internals and make it as strong as possibly possible. <sighs> that's, that's about how my day is going. To get this stupid blaster, I've had to wait like a week and a half, which is a very annoying prospect. And it's been through like every state in the country trying to reach me has, oh, it's so annoying. So, so annoying how I've had to wait for this thing. Oh, that's so awesome. So you can carry one plus two. <sighs> All right, let's load it up. Let's load it up. Again, not even gonna use elite darts. We're gonna skip right to the good stuff. Give it the best possible chance. Ah, uh, oh, these shells, they got a little bit of snug in them, but most of the way down, they're completely empty plastic. I wanna see how hard it would be to steal. Oh no. Well, these aren't on store shelves. Or no, they are on store shelves at some Walmarts. But it definitely wouldn't be hard for you to steal the shell out of the package, Hasbro. Come on. Oh, great. Be very careful of that. That's disappointing. Load it up. And that is only on the left side of the blaster. Although I'm holding it left-handed, I just opened it perfectly fine with my trigger finger. But uh, that is something to keep in mind. Drop a shell in, close it. There's no automatic closing for that. That's half the experience of a breech loading blaster. What are we about eight minutes in? Yeah, I guess it's time we finally shoot this blaster. <sighs> Please don't suck. That was not super strong, but it also wasn't that bad. Open up the breech, dump out the shell, grab another one. Drop it in there, close the breech, prime it again, open up the breech, dump out the shell, grab a fresh one, drop it in, close it, try the blaster. Lots of extra steps. It's not hitting that bad though, especially for a shotgun kind of blaster. Okay, all right, I'm excited. I'm gonna take this thing outside. I know this has been, a lot of people complain about the length of these videos. How could I spend this long on a blaster like this? And to them, I just say, you don't understand. But I am going to load it back up. We're gonna take it back outside. It is raining, but I'm gonna try to give it a, the best range test I possibly can. And then we'll come for, for a conclusion because I am, oh, I can't wait to see what this thing does at range. All right. Let's see what it does. I'm not expecting a whole lot here. It is a uh, shotgun, but. So there wasn't much of a spread. The distance is not great. There wasn't any range claims on the blaster, which is to be expected. That was uh, about end strike levels, not even end strike elite. Let's see if we can get a better spread off this thing. Angle didn't really give me a better uh, distance on that. Yep, the uh, distance uh, spread, everything. Still pretty middling. Yeah, I'm not getting any spread out of it. Now that is with three darts, not one, but 
I'm still really happy with this thing. I don't even think it will reach the door though. We're gonna have to test that. So the door test is usually an accuracy test. So this is a pretty decent engagement range for most wars. And uh, at this point, I think we're doing this as a distance test because that is not very far away and it definitely is not going to reach it. Even Ultra reaches that far. This, just about, and the spread on that one was actually really good. That one didn't fall right out. I guess I could have shaken it. Why are there sirens? Oh, we already primed it. Yeah. See, now I'm getting a spread on it. What is that about? Because that spread is awesome. Okay, that one was less awesome. You know, you have a problem when your shotgun is too accurate. More sirens? Should I be inside or something? Should I be worried? It's just a Nerf blaster, I promise. And I'm in my backyard. All right. We're gonna give some more firing footage because I really like this blaster. It's an okay spread, could be better, but that was okay. And that was about what we expect from this thing. Oh, come on, where were this, uh, the last good accuracy? This is when these darts are actually bad because you're not getting enough deviation. If it was using elite darts, it would be a great spread. Did I just, ooh, what did I do there? I guess I didn't close the breach all the way. Let's try that again. There we go. Ha, huh. wow. And I don't think anything's stopping you from cutting out the dart posts out of the shells and shotgunning half darts. Well, unsurprisingly, I absolutely love the Nerf N-Strike Elite Shell Strike DS6. And that's funny because I haven't even modded this thing yet. And of course, beyond a spring upgrade, maybe we could do a little bit more to get some power. I would like to put another 50% more range on this thing and make it about an Elite Blaster, you know, 70 FPS ranges but with a triple shot, which I'm not even gonna try to chronograph, unfortunately. Let me just say that the ranges, while for a holsterable shotgun pistol are pretty good, they're not exactly spectacular by any means, but neither was the trilogy from what I've seen. And of course the sledge fire also wasn't as well, but for a blaster like this, a really compact, comfortable, holds three shells on it, really easy to reload thanks to that right there. like. That, for 15 bucks, can you really complain? You get the two shells, six darts, and the blaster, and I, this is probably the best blaster of 2020. I hold so little hope that I'll like anything even remotely as much as this, but I, I do know that at some point, Hasbro has got to make the double-barreled sledge fire kind of blaster. But they've got to make it at some point, and the fact that they brought back shells and they redesigned them, and they're probably going to use them in more blasters in the future, this is exciting. Of course, obviously, if they were to make some kind of automatic version of a shell blaster, you know, basically take a stampede, make it use shells with like a six, seven round magazine, that would be awesome as well. And of course, something with an internal magazine, you know, like the Spring Thunder and whatnot, that would also be really cool. Will that ever happen? I kind of doubt it, but I never thought we'd get a shotgun pistol like this, and we have. So, basically 2020 has the potential for anything. I'm excited to see what happens at Toy Fair next month, but I am super happy, and this very well could be my favorite blaster pretty much ever. I'm going to be doing everything I can to make this blaster even more awesome. And I know a lot of you won't understand that, and that's fine, it's the internet, I get it, but... <sighs> I love shotguns, I love pistols. I've wanted a breech-loading shotgun for so very long. Wow, good job on that one. And this has given me that. I should mention that I think the Trilogy-style shells are actually really easy to reload compared to the original, like, Sledgefire shells. They're quite a bit bigger, but they're really nice for just shoving darts in there. It kind of guides them into place, which is cool. It's too bad that they don't have very much of a grip on the dart, because I would love to fill this thing full of half darts and just see how good it would be after you remove the dart posts at being like a six round shotgun. But there isn't really any grip except for basically right back here. 
So we're probably gonna have to brass a couple. And of course, I wanna see how well this thing does with like a singled brassed barrel and stuff like that, because I'm guessing that's gonna give you some pretty good ranges. And this could be a sniping pistol that's a little bit easier to mob than something like the Rival Knockout. But still, it's, it's a shotgun pistol. It's gonna have a bright future. It's at a really good price point at 15 bucks. Go out and buy three of them. Support good blaster designs when it happens. I mean, there's not a whole lot of shotgun pistols out there. Like, the only one that really comes to mind is like the Boomco options. Of course, the whole, you know, Megalodon with the whole, the, the printed cylinder, the spamage, that's way more effective at being a shotgun. Like, triple the range. <sighs> yeah, that's way better, but it's not holsterable. This is holsterable. And I just want to be able to get one of these things firing that well. So I'm gonna be working on this in the future. You will see it again very shortly. We have to take it apart. In fact, how hard is this thing to take apart? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven screws by the looks of it to take this thing. Yeah. And I need to make it have an ejection because I want to be able to just do that and have it fling the shell out at me. We'll have to see if that's a possibility as well. Looks like there's plenty of room in there to do that. I could ramble forever. I'm sorry this video went on for so long. But I really wanted you to get the full experience and try to understand why I love this kind of blaster so much, because it's so much fun, it has a lot of potential, and if I can double the range on it, I will be so very much happy. I want standard elite ranges out of it. So that's the goal from here on out. But other than that, I am Walcom S7. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't, you can hit the dislike button. And hey, please let me know down in those comments section what you think about the Shell Strike and what future it holds and are you going to pick one up? I hope to see you in an entirely different one or probably with this one multiple times. So I gotta do a loadout video with it. I've gotta do the whole mod video. Oh, come on, man, I got, I got my work cut out for me.